How is 3D printing already reshaping our world? Implants, watches, cars, airplanes and space rockets. What else can we print, particularly using titanium? Today we are talking about a fantastic reality and our future, how it will look like guided by visionaries, strategic metals, and cutting-edge technology. I'm Marherita Rivchichenko and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Similar to titanium which is often called the metal of the future, 3D printing is associated with something incredible and even outer space. However, the truth is that both titanium and 3D printing are very much a part of our present. Yes, for us it may sound fantastic, but these technologies have been in use for years. Metal injection molding technology means the production of metal parts by injecting molten metal, such as titanium, into a press mold. Factually this is an injection molding process. This is how titanium components for such watches, eyeglasses and various other products are made. Metal injection molding technology has long proven itself and is experiencing great demand worldwide. However, the latest advancements in 3D printing are gaining even more momentum. Scientifically, this is referred to as additive technology which includes at least seven different types. But the core principle remains consistent across these methods, a virtual 3D model is created, and with the help of special machines the material is successively layered one upon another, one upon another, thousands of times, and after there are some more operations performed sintering or machining. Additive technology is rapidly gaining worldwide popularity. It originates from creating basic components for furniture or household items but the landscape has drastically evolved. Today, for example, the Boeing company has an entire 3D printing plant where they design and manufacture incredibly intricate components for commercial airplanes, helicopters, and satellites. Even space rockets are made with the help of 3D printers. In these scenes, the Terran 1 is launching from Cape Canaveral, a spacecraft spanning a length of 34 meters, with a remarkable 85% of its structure being made using additive technology printed on a 3D printer. The US Army is also actively engaged in 3D printing. Just this year, a cutting-edge facility was launched in Michigan, featuring a hybrid machine designed for the production of metal components large monolithic bodies of military ground vehicles. By the way, American mobile 3D printers capable of producing parts for military equipment are already available in Ukraine. These machines, as stated, are able to function even on the front line. So, as you can see, the 3D future has already arrived. And within this landscape, yes, titanium is playing an increasingly pivotal role, being the best metal for such applications. How exactly? Let me share and show you a bit more. The first method to print products from titanium alloys is powder bed fusion, a process where fusion occurs within a powder bed. To explain simply, titanium powder is fed into the printer, and it's meticulously layered onto a platform, subsequently being rapidly fused together by a laser. To illustrate the remarkable applications of this method, Germany has successfully manufactured an entire support structure for Airbus aircraft, specifically a titanium engine protection system. Moreover, luxury Bugatti vehicles incorporate titanium brake components made through the 3D powder bed fusion method, and even parts of American fighter jet engines are produced using this cutting-edge technique. The second method, known as directed energy deposition, resembles welding. Titanium powder or rod is fed into a tube, where the molten metal is meticulously applied layer by layer in accordance with a 3D model. This method is notably faster than the first one and is used to produce titanium 3D components for Boeing Dreamliner, as well as enormous titanium parts for spacecraft. Here's a titanium dome employed in fuel tanks by Lockheed Martin as part of a prominent US satellite program. Lockheed Martin has already disclosed that they are producing thousands of aircraft components using titanium and additive technologies a move that has, in their words, have both the time and cost of production. And then there's the third method, called binder jetting. 
which is a form of additive manufacturing involving the application of a liquid binder, referred to as glue, to join powdered materials. Simply speaking, layers of titanium powder are laid down, and glue is applied, repeatedly. The assembly is then placed into an oven, where the glue evaporates, and the powder solidifies, resulting in a metal part that precisely matches the 3D model. These parts could include future Apple Watch Series 9 cases, golf clubs, or even fuel valves for John Deere tractors. As you can see, these applications are not mere fantasies but realities. The additive technology market is already valued in the tens of billions of dollars, and forecasts suggest it will reach hundreds of billions in the next decade. Ukraine has much to offer the world in this field titanium. If you're new to our channel, I recommend watching our interview with Andrei Brodsky, the founder of the Ukrainian Titanium Industry Association. The link is in the description. Today I've provided you with a brief overview regarding 3D printing. Next week, we will delve into a conversation with a Ukrainian innovator who is a producer of unique 3D printers. It promises to be an exciting discussion. So, I encourage you once again to subscribe to the Titanium in Ukraine. I'm Marherita Rivchichenko and see you again soon.